comes to 4K, they are mostly great transfers. But also, you have some shit ones in this bitch. Disappointing ones. And that's what we're going to talk about. Brass tanks. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. I got a Twitter. Follow that bitch at Brass Tax. You already know. I'm going to talk about disappointing transfers. Here's the thing. They're disappointing to me because they are either shit or they didn't live up to my expectations. In most cases, they'll probably still be better than the 1080p Blu-ray, but they fell way short of the 4K Blu-ray we've come to expect. The quality, the standard of 4K Blu-ray we've come to expect. I don't want something which is a, a pubic hair better than 1080p. I want something which is noticeably better in 4K. We made the investment, but I'm gonna help you guys. I'm gonna warn you off some of the shitty ones. So let's get started. Oblivion, I love this movie. This is a great movie. Total mind trippy, mind fucky. Tom Cruise, always playing Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise and Tom Hanks, always playing themselves, but they're winning awards for that bitch because they're really good at playing themselves in various different movies. It's all good. Tom Cruise gonna play himself again in the next Mission Impossible movie. Round of applause for you. Say if a friend or family member, whoever, someone came in and watched it with you, they wouldn't even realize you're watching 4K because it's all about the subtleties with this one. And that's why this one here is a disappointment. Da Vinci Code. Another great movie, a movie I liked. Not the strongest out of the three so far, in my opinion. I think it got predominantly better as the series went on, as the trilogy went on so far. Disappointing transfer. There was pop to it, and there was more colour to it, but that's about it. I didn't notice much else. It was pretty grainy, and it was a very small uptick from its 1080p counterpart. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it didn't have the extended version. I know the 1080p really saw one, but we didn't get that in the 4K, which is ridiculous. It was disappointing. I was expecting more. The way it's been shot, and the way it's been filmed, and the way HDR's been implemented, and the way it's been uh, brought to 4K, is apparently the director's decision and the intent of the director. He wanted this movie to look a certain way and that is Arrival. I was quite disappointed when I watched this because although there was some extra detail here and there, it looked pretty similar to the 1080p. There was some nice HDR here and there, but overall it was very disappointing. My friend came, she said, oh, you ain't got the 4K of this yet. I'm like, bitch, this the 4K in this bitch. God damn. Watchmen, god damn. It was a huge disappointment, huge disappointment. It looked like an upscale to me. Maybe I'm too harsh on it. There were some good moments here and there. I saw it on Blu-ray recently. I don't know why. I think someone was just watching it. It looked just as good there. So that's a very disappointing 4K Blu-ray. Now, if you're gonna pick it up, pick it up, but pick it up at a discounted price. But if you're a fan, then chances are you already have it. But you'll understand what I'm saying about the transfer. That transfer sucks balls. And not in a good way. Born Identity. God damn! This movie, I actually say looks worse than the 1080p, I'll tell you why. The CGI in that bitch looked even worse because it was highlighted because of the upscale. You know how trash this movie is? You know how much I like my 4K Blu-rays? Shall I tell you how trash this shit is? I got it up for sale on eBay. I'm never gonna watch this. Every time I watch this bitch, I feel as though I got ripped off in this bitch. Avoid unless you can steal it. Let's just keep it real. Born Supremacy, a pubic hair better than the Born Identity in this bitch. Another shitty transfer. I don't know what the hell's going on, but they fucked up this shit. You're gonna put that shit in there, you're gonna check your disc, I'll keep it real with you. I guess it's still the best version to get, but buy, but, but buy a pubic hair in this bitch. It's not much better. What can you say? That's my list for now, people. There's going to be another list, I would imagine, in the next couple of months. I'm usually pretty good, pretty accurate at telling what's going to be a shitty transfer. But I wasn't expecting that from Bourne, I keep it real with you. But there's going to be more lists of this because I want to keep you guys aware. If you are going to invest in 4K Blu-ray, I don't want you to get ripped off in this bitch. So there's going to be more of these. Uh, appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon.